Hi everyone, my name is Evangeline and I'm the owner of Makeup Tips. And in this video, I'm going to be talking to you about a product from a very popular brand. So a couple of you messaged me and asked me to do a video on this and my application tips. And this product is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lip Color. So MAC are a brand that are very famous for their original lipsticks. These were a launch from them a little while back, but a lot of people haven't necessarily fallen head over heels with them as much as they have the original lipsticks. And and I very much put that down to people not knowing how to use them in the correct way. So with a lot of products, they're not necessarily bad. They're just not worn in the best possible way. And some people have a little bit of difficulty in getting the best results out of them. So these are a product which is a matte liquid lipstick. Now, when it comes to liquid lipsticks, a lot of people want that beautiful velvety matte finish and that is exactly what this does. So in this video I thought I would teach you some of my top tips and application tips on how you can wear this product and get the best results out of it. So in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the shade Tailored Two Tees which is a really beautiful sort of berry shade but almost has a little bit of fuchsia in it. So when it comes to this liquid lipstick and any liquid lipstick for that matter you really want to make sure that you're starting off with completely and utterly dry lips. So what a lot of people will do is prior to applying a drying lipstick is they will go in with a lip balm and apply this onto the lips. But what this can do is it can actually give the lips too much slip and as a result the product isn't going to sit properly, it's not going to apply properly and you may have issues with it sort of grabbing unevenly in certain areas and sort of not drying down as perfectly as it can. So starting with completely dry lips is so important with this liquid lipstick or you will run into issues. So what you can actually do is you can use a lip primer. So a lip primer tends to have a bit more of a waxier consistency and therefore it will help the product to apply a bit more smoothly. This one is the MAC Lip Primer, the Prep and Prime version, but you can use whichever one you desire. Another thing that I like to do and a tip that I like to do is to take a little bit of translucent powder and gently sort of press that over the lips before you go on to applying the liquid lipstick. This is just going to help to remove any moisture from the lips and that way you're going to have that perfect clean base to work with. Using something that is too wet and is too sort of slippery can cause the product to apply unevenly. So really making sure that the lips are completely dry before you apply this product is a really great thing. They can't have too much moisture or hydration or the product is not going to work great. Now when it does come to these liquid lipsticks, I do recommend that your lips be in quite good condition before using them. You want to make sure that they are hydrated and that they are in good condition, but don't do that necessarily just before using this product. Make sure that your lips sort of are free from flakiness and are quite hydrated the night or one to two days beforehand. So onto the application of the actual liquid lipstick. The first thing that you want to do is when you're using this is you don't want to go in with the applicator and sort of start by outlining the lips. A lot of people will do this and a lot of people will tell you to do this as opposed to using a lip liner but by doing this what can actually happen is you can end up with too much product on the outside of the lips and sort of it starts to cake up around the perimeter it doesn't look the best and it can have issues with sort of drying down and it just can sort of look a little bit cakey uneven and you end up with more product on the outside of the lips and it just doesn't look perfect so instead what you want to do is you want to take the applicator and start by applying it on the center of the lips on the center of the bottom lip and the center of the top lip and then slowly start to work out towards the outside of the lips and use the applicator to sort of give them that lined and defined edge. Additionally, something that you can do is you can actually take the applicator and you can very gently sort of wipe off and dab off any of the excess product so that you don't get that caking. Now, if you really want that perfect edge, what you can do is whilst the product is still sort of setting, it's going with a clean, dry lip brush and just sort of blur out the edges a little bit and smooth out the edges so that you get sort of a more defined cupid's bow or more defined sort of edge on the sort of lip line. Now I find that with liquid lipsticks if you try too hard to get the edge perfect that's when you can start to run into issues. Think of it like this, most people aren't going to be sort of super up in your face and examining every little, little edge of your lipstick. So if it's not 110% perfect, but it's almost there, just leave it. You don't need to sort of stress too much about getting it absolutely perfect. Another thing that you can do is you can take a cotton tip with a little bit of makeup remover and just sort of go around the outside of the lips. But if you are doing this, try and do it before you've applied your foundation and all your other products. Otherwise you may sort of come into a few issues with it not looking perfect. Perfect. Obviously, you can also use the good old tip as well of using um, a little bit of concealer and going around the outside of the lips. 
So once you have applied this liquid lipstick, the one thing that you really don't want to do is smack your lips together. So at any point in this lipstick application, do not smack your lips together. Your lips will not only stick together, but the product will also grab in uneven areas, patch off, and it won't look the best. So instead, just sit there for a couple of seconds and let it dry naturally and let it do its thing. Additionally, blotting it off with a tissue is not going to be a great thing to do because for starters, you're probably not going to get much blot off once the product has dried down anyway, but it's just gonna mean that the product sort of splits and goes a little bit yucky and uneven, which is obviously not what you want. Now, these liquid lipsticks are quite long wearing. I find that I can get about six to eight hours wear out of them before they start looking a little bit worse for wear. But for the most part, they look really, really great throughout the day. Now, when it comes to the reapplication of these liquid lipsticks, I personally think that the best thing that you can possibly do is remove the lipstick completely and start from scratch. If you go in and you go to reapply the liquid lipstick in the same way that you did when you first applied it, it's not going to look great. You're going to have a bit of unevenness. You're going to have a bit of patchiness and the color is going to look darker and lighter in different sections. So that is obviously a serious no-no. Now for the most part, if it's not looking 110% fresh, you will be able to get away with it. I wouldn't stress about it too much. But if you really do have a couple of issues with the product not looking great, you can reapply. If you're going to reapply, I only recommend doing it once or twice. Otherwise, it's not going to look perfect. Now, if you do want to reapply, don't go on with the applicator and just sort of smooth it over the lips. This is not going to work and it's not going to look great. Instead, what I recommend doing if you do want to reapply this is to grab a soft synthetic fluffy crease brush and just gently sort of press it onto the applicator. Get a small amount of product onto the actual brush and then what you wanna do is you wanna almost stipple it onto the lips. You've gotta be quite careful to only focus on the center of the lips. I wouldn't worry too much about the outer sort of lip line because that's probably not going to need too much touching up anyway. But you, what you wanna do is you wanna grab the lip brush and you wanna stipple it onto the lips in this sort of fashion. So stipple it and just sort of really focus on the center of the lips and any areas where you feel that you need a little bit of color touching up or where the product may have sort of distorted throughout the day. Now, in terms of removal of this product, a lot of you are probably asking yourself, well, if it's so long wearing, what should I actually be using to remove it? And the answer is that I recommend using something like a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm, something that is quite emollient and is really gonna help to effectively break up the product. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll leave some info in the description box below where you can learn more about this product and also where you can follow me on all of my social media channels and networks.